Laurie, thanks for joining us. Um, plenty of possession, a goal, and lots of attempts, but ultimately nothing to show from it. How do you analyse that? Gutted. Absolutely gutted. Um, first half, I thought we did all right. We battled back after another mistake uh, defensively, which I don't know what happens. They just seem to switch off or something, or look at the bounce. I don't know. Take your pick. Um, scored a good goal, got back into it. 46th minute, they get a free kick. Again, I was on the bench saying something. Someone on the pitch says something else, and it ends up in the back of the net. So, pretty uh, gutted first half. Second half, no complaints. Is, is it a little bit frustrating that we're not taking our chances when we get in good positions um, and, and obviously defending, letting goals in? Or is it satisfying that we're actually making the chances now? No, I'd be more worried if we wasn't making the chances, I'll be honest with you, because um, we are creating several chances in the game. Um, and I'll be honest, our keepers had two saves to make all game. Two saves. I mean, I know Cleethorpes are a decent team and they'll be up there at the end of the season, but we matched up toe for top, and I'll be honest, I thought the least we deserved was a draw at the end. Well, there seems to be a more positive atmosphere slowly building around the squad and, to, and the club to a large extent since the start of the year. What do you put that down to? Me? No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the lads have come together because obviously it's a brand new group. There was, there was one player from last year, and it takes a bit of time to develop a, an understanding and a bonding. And uh, gradually, over the weeks and months, they did develop that. And they, you know, they're quite a tight unit now. We get along with each other, socialise with each other, and it helps. It helps massively. So yeah, I put it down to the players getting used to each other and being with each other for a long period of time. And, and did the goal just before half time change the team talk any? Ever so slightly, I'll be honest with you, yeah, we told them a few home truths in there and um, we asked for a response and I'll be honest with you, I thought we got it. I did think we got it in the, in the second half and how we didn't score I don't know, but fair play to Cleethorpes, they, uh, they kept us at bay. Lloyd, you were just talking about the second half there, thought we got on the ball really well and it seemed as if we had Cleethorpes on the back foot a little. Uh, the fans and the atmosphere seemed to lift the stadium. How much of an influence do you think these players have on that? They have everything, don't they? If they don't want to go out and run and chase and tackle and you know make forward runs unselfishly off the ball, then they're not going to get the crowd. Apparently, at the end of the day, we're here to entertain. We're not here to sit back on the edge of our box and defend for 90 minutes and then get in our corner and score from it. We're in the business of entertaining, and you know, as a club, we like to go forward and um, create things. Obviously, looking at, uh, at the season now, taking a bit of an overview, we've said before that we don't get too carried away, whatever the result. Yeah. It's our first league loss of this year. Um, how do you see things panning out going into the next game? <sighs> Listen, <laughs> we're not too downbeat about getting beat. You know, Clay Thorpe's, like I say, I think the third in the league, I think third in the league, yeah, somewhere around that. They're a decent team, they know what they're doing, they're quite experienced. Um, our lads are still learning. They're still learning, like when we win. We, we're not shouting from the rooftops, we're the best team in this and that. And the other. We're not. We're not. We're, we're where we are and we're aware of where we are. And as long as the lads keep on developing, we'll, we'll accept a win, loss, or a draw. And is it nice to see that some of the new faces uh, are getting minutes in the squad and actually getting on the pitch? Is that down to a couple of injuries? No, no, no. L listen, we're like every other team, we have our injuries, we have suspensions, you know. Every other team in this league does it, but the fact of the matter is, we've signed these players for a reason, and the only way they're going to show us what they can do is by on the pitch, and some of them have had to buy the time for several weeks. Again, not an issue. That, that's what happens when you're doing well. You keep the same formula and you don't change it. Now, we can, uh, we can mix it up a little bit. Over the course of the 90 minutes, Lloyd, was there anything missing from today's performance, in your opinion, apart from that equaliser? No, because I, I, honestly, I don't... It, if the lads played like they did in the second half of the rest of the season, you will not hear one complaint from me, Bandy, or any of the Glossop North End supporters, because they gave absolutely everything against a good team. So, no, not at all. It's, we are where we are, and they're developing, and sometimes they need a rocket up the backside, and sometimes they need a pat on the back. So. That's it, really. And obviously we go now into next Saturday, one of our shorter coach, coach trips down to the bottom of Derbyshire. Yeah. Uh, Ilkeston, another well-supported, good side. Um, is that, again, are we just going to carry on going the way we are? Um, hopefully we'll have a, you know, a good, good bunch of uh, away support down there. Yeah, well, the supporters, the away supporters have been fantastic, I'll be honest with you. Ilkeston, decent team. Uh, got the phone back again over the last few weeks, I believe, so yeah, it's not going to be an easy one. And again, we'll just turn up and we'll try and do the best we can and hopefully it's good enough on the day. 
Well, good luck in training and uh, hopefully we can get some of those injuries back and we'll see you next Saturday. Let's hope so. Let's hope so.